All right, welcome back everyone. Um, just really, really quickly um, before I talk about the pond visit. Um, if you notice I'm not subscribed to the channel anymore, um, please don't be offended because um, it's it's a glitch in my YouTube. So, I mean, there's people I've been following for, you know, two years, etc. And they're, they're suddenly not in my subscribe list anymore. So, I'm, I'm you know, I'm re-adding you. Yeah, so um, if you notice that, just give me a nudge. I mean, I'm not a snowflake. I mean, you have to be putting like bleach in your palm for me to delete you. I'm just not that sort of person. Um, anyway, <coughs> just got back from um, Twisted Coy, Vince and Sue's, and uh, tell, blown away. Um, never met Vince before. Um, well, I spoke to him a lot on YouTube and that, but um, yeah, I honestly, within 10 minutes, I felt like I'd known him for two years, five years. Um, made me feel right at home. Um, you know, I mean, so we come back from work halfway through when we were filming and put a kettle on, made me a cup of tea. I never met Sue, so thanks for that. Your tea's actually was better than Vince's because I had two cups. And <laughs> Sorry, mate, she wins. Um, yeah, it's a few things. Uh, if you've never met Vince or you're thinking about asking to go, go and see his um, ponds and stuff, um, yeah, the knowledge of the bloke, seriously. There's nothing that bloke don't know, and you can just feel his passion for the hobby. And you know, he's he's. I could have been. It's like um, reading a really good book, and you can't put it down. You know, I could have sat there and listened to him all day. You know, he's a self-confessed waffler, but I, you know, I was just absorbing every information he had, and um, yeah, it was it was it was terrific. Um, a really good day. Um, so I'm so this is going to be my longest video by a long shot. Um, and I really, really hope you have a cup, get a cup of tea and actually watch it through without skipping through because you know, seven hour day. I've done four hours of driving there and back, and three hours at Vince's. God bless him. And um, you know, it's it's not just for me doing these videos. You know, the motivation of having you know subscribers and trying to reach the next target and stuff. You know, I'm doing it for the guys, you guys at home as well. You know. Um, but also you do motivate me, so it kicks me out the door. So you mean you're helping me, I'm hopefully I'm helping you because you enjoy the video. But um if you want to learn things about Koi, please don't skip because you know a lot of effort goes 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 into making these videos, believe it or not. Even though I'm not the best at making videos and I haven't got all the flashy gear and stuff, but um Yeah. Um so what I've done, because so many people have been to Vince's, I wanted to do a bit different. So I did ask him if I can access all areas um you know see what see what he's all about and now what's he doing in his spare time and stuff and um yeah i mean he was he was game he, he just said yeah just do what you want you know he's he's yeah you know, he's such a great bloke he's definitely my cup of tea not that everyone's cup of tea you know you know but he's definitely you know he's a he, he's a bloke's bloke and i um yeah i i, I really had a good day um gave me a few of his nets and all i probably won't need this one this year um, but this one's perfect for my fry now. Uh, all handmade. So, yeah, thanks for that, mate. And, uh, yeah, just uh, thanks, Vince and Sue, for letting me in your house. You know, some skinhead, random skinhead knocking up at your house. <laughs> um, yeah, but, I mean, the pair of them, uh, just, they're, you know, they're just nice to be around, you know, in this hobby, you know. And, uh, like I say, the, the knowledge of the, knowledge of the and we're just like, oh my god, seriously, you know. Anyway, yeah, right, come on, let's crack on. And um, yes, oh, well, one more thing. Um, the I have been carrying on with a new pawn bill, but I'm not going to just add that in little, you know, oh, I've done some more digging today or whatever. I'll make it a part two, so I'll wait a little while, and then, you know, otherwise, you're just going to get bored. So, um, yeah, all right. Roll the tape. Cheers. All right, hello everyone. Um, road trip 2.0. Um, got an hour and 45 minute drive. Um, 85 miles. Um, yeah, I um, just stopped at Tesco. I can't, I can't turn up empty-handed, so I hope they like chocolate because I couldn't come up with anything. Um, I did make the person a uh, COVID mask though. Um, no, I'm joking. I don't think you appreciate that. And just got over COVID. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll see you in a bit. Cheers, bye.
Right. Caught me fucking smoking though. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's for getting me. Yeah. Right, I've just come down to uh, Baden's though to see the legend. Legends. Vince. <laughs> um, so nothing this boat don't know about Koi, I tell you. I've been talking for about half hours, blowing my mind. Um, right, so I'm just doing the, the fry tank, or the grow on tank, what do you call it? Fry tank grow on yeah, tank? Yeah, it's the grow on tank, this one. Sissy, get out of here, fucking idiot. And so most of these are Adam Fire. Uh, all the metallics are New Forest Koi. Oh right, okay, that's corrected. So, all the Platinums, the Kajaku, this nice Kikikori down here, yeah. they're all New Forest Koi. So anything that's got metallic in it is from there. Yeah. So you've got the Shisui, the Bonsai Tancho Showa, the Achievers are from Adam Bayer. And the gosh keys are from New Forest Koi. Nice. nice. And he's, had, he's had a few out and it's just, what's it, I think he pulled out Harawaki and a, what's the other one? Like the lemon Harawaki, yeah. Let, let me, I'll see if I can get it back in the net for you. There you go. There you go. Look at this. Oh, so, so, this was two to three weeks unselected fry in April. Absolutely stunning. I've seen this, all the fish in here are so clean, they're so, you know. I, this one ticks all the boxes for me. One, it's got a beautiful yellow. Skin is absolutely amazing, the luster on it. It's got a perfect zipper and there's practically, there is the odd one scale if you look carefully by behind the gill plate, yeah, but yeah. other than that, it's, 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 scale ab just yeah, it? it's absolutely clean down the sides. So and well as, behaved as well, look. As you can see, it's gonna be a big fish. Yeah. Definitely one for the future, that. But yeah, that that that's new forest koi, that one. I'll uh, I'll leave some links to the to the um the koi dealerships and that somewhere. Obviously, a link to Vince's channel. Look, if you need a link, but I will. So you all know <laughs> him. <laughs> I'm really pleased with this one. Remember we uh, we helped Adam pull the fry ponds? Yeah. And he gave me uh, some fry. Yeah. That's what from his Asagi really spawning. That was that was uns oh, yeah. uns unselected as well. And I'm really pleased with that. There's a couple of smaller ones in there. So this was is this not like two to three weeks old? Or is this yeah, it was yeah. it was it was about that yeah. because that was that was what we pulled from yeah. the pond. That was when we pulled the... It's actually uh, looking for food in that net. <laughs> oh yeah, they're, they're gutsy bastards. And like I said to you, the tank at the moment is only sitting at 13 degrees and they're still eating like crazy. Yeah, so you, you mean you was up in the 20s, weren't you? Yeah, no, you're, yeah. Because yeah. you're moving yeah. the fish to the front pond. Yeah, we're going through these. Cool. Maybe the last one. There's another shisui. Yeah. Nice bite with a white net down. Yeah. It's another handmade net, isn't it? No, no, this, no one, this, th one this, this one is about... That's the veteran, is it? This, yeah, this one was given to me uh, about 10 years ago by Mark from Cutlebrook Koi Farm. But yeah, you've got... That isn't shisui. That isn't shisui. No, that isn't okay. shisui. You oh, see, you see the metallic a, luster in the this, skin. This is a difference in the knowledge from someone at three years and someone at. <laughs> you see, see the metallic in the skin. Yeah. It's blue, but it's a metallic blue. Yeah. Yeah. I that, think I've got one of these, by the way. This. I've shown you a picture. This is a Deutsch Kajaku. A Deutsch Kajaku. That's probably what I'll send you a picture when I get home. Yeah. I've got. But yeah, that's 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 Deutsch Kajaku. That that that's from New Forest Koi. Yeah. So did you, did you travel down to New Forest Koi? Did you order these online? Uh, phoned them up. Yeah. And I, at the time, I specifically wanted just Kajaku, but yeah. it was a, a mix of Kajaku, Deutsch Kajaku, and Kajaku Cross Platinum Mogon, which is why we've got a lot of these. Uh, so Deutsch just... Platinum Mogon. Yeah. I was about to say that, but then I thought that no, was going to correct yeah. me. <laughs> no, that's a Deutsch Platinum Ogon. Yeah, it's stunning. It's just the and skin on it, silky, silky smooth. And that is a scaled Platinum Ogon. Yeah. 
That's what I'll just call a platinum album. Yeah. Yep. Um, and the one at the back is. I've got box. one of these as well. It's not really growing. Um, it was from the carp company. And they, I think they, but let's like say. They came, they came from the New Forest Koi batch, let's say yeah. April, two to three weeks old. Yeah, that's a lovely achiever in there. There's another of the Asagi. Yeah, you can just stop out see the colours trying to get yeah. through, can't you? See, it's got orange in its yeah. cheeks, so it means that the orange will come through. Yeah. It's got a lovely robing in there already. Yeah. Some nice reticulation there. So he'll probably end up in here when we do it, staying in here when we do the mix. See, something like this one here, if it was going to grow in any 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 way at all, then he would have started, he would have done this grow. He would have grown know. already. So, but he's still a nice fish because once that yellow starts to separate as it yeah. does grow, yeah. that's going to be another nice doit to them now. Yeah. I mean, it, it, there has been some freak fish that start small and then suddenly boom, it's just... Yeah. Depends, isn't it? But this one. This one's a lovely. This one will, I, I, I pretty much guarantee, will end up in my pond because yeah. the symmetry on it yeah. is just absolutely awesome. And this is an Adam. Almost Mar identical both sides. Yeah. yeah that's what I mean. Yeah. You see that perfect, yeah, yeah. perfect grey line going yeah, down, yeah. down through the middle. And if you look at the sides, it also almost looks like a paintbrush. Yeah, it does. Has yeah. gone over it on that side. Yeah. But it is symmetrical. Snap bang in the middle of the side of his body, yeah. I mean, from a, it even looks better from above, in my opinion. It's sort of like a streamline, isn't it? Yeah. I've got another one that's very similar to this in there. And believe it or not, that came from the Deutsche Schieber spawning in Adams. It looks more like a Kahaku, doesn't it? Deutsche Kahaku. I don't know. It's got some blues in it, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that could, that could still be an achiever. Yeah, it? Yeah, 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 it could. Yeah. But yeah. that one, that one, where I will probably end up moving on. Yeah. It's going to be a beautiful fish, especially when you look at the the skin luster and stuff. Yeah. It's got some akaguru in there on the pecs, and it's even. So it's still going to be a, a, a lovely fish. Here's, here's the darker one. See, this one's just crazy colours on this one. Very much like the one we just looked at, but just in yeah. in a darker form. I might, even, but I might even prefer that one. It's just different. It's isn't it? lighter on the bottom. Yeah. If you look, yeah, it's got it's got a block of white belly. He's got like a grey grey yeah. section across his across his his belly. Yeah. But his zipper goes from nose to t to dorsal tip. Can you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes see, yeah. all the way across the top. Does, yeah. You've got a couple of scales either side of the gills, yeah. but once that once that gets bigger, that will that will create a really big presence in in any pond. Yeah, yeah. And like again, that one came from from Madden Bay Koi Farm. But this one, this one blows me away. Quite the colours, I can't. You're not going to get this on camera. It's 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 almost reflecting off of me. <laughs> it's, that, it's like a mirror. It's like a bluey grey, but then when it not breaches, the mirror. I mean, as in a mirror, you look in the mirror, and, you know, on your wall. When it breaches so the shiny. surface, yeah. Can you see? Yeah, yeah. And the pecs are absolutely so, identical. Wow. So what? What would you say that is? That's kikikori. Right. Gotcha. See, I want to know that. Yeah. And um, and that that will end up staying in my pond. Yeah, that's a keeper. Definitely, I can't. It's got the, the on it, you can't, I can't wait for it's it. Got it's got a couple of gimrin scales yeah, across it. I mean, its body, it sort of yeah. reflects the, off it, you know what I mean? The metallic on it yeah, is absolutely crazy. sublime. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's rare, I haven't seen one like that before. I see, that's, that's the beauty, for me, of getting them unselected. Yeah. Because it's a, it's, when, when you're getting them unselected... It's a lottery, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and every now and then, you you get one or two that come out really really well but then when you look at the the gosh key if i can get him
Is that the one you just put back? <laughs> that one, look. Yeah, that one. It's so calm though, it's not like they're... It's not upsetting them really, is it? Oh, there you go, look at this. Right, now, this in, I think it was June or July, went down to New Forest Quarry, took a visit down there. Yeah. There's there's not a lot there when you, when you go there, but what there is, is the opportunity to stand there with a bowl, and a net yeah. and Do pick you what want. you want you yeah. know and you can pick them up uh, about this sort of size yeah. so like five for a ten hour and this sort of thing but yeah. you can pick them well i picked five goshki and this is two of them this one's been reserved for, uh, by Katrina Hodgson, she's already laid claim to that. And if I do sell the lemon Harawaki, then that will be going to Mallet from Mount Koi Pond. Yeah. But to show you the difference from this because they came from the same spawning. Yeah. And you've got two distinct different styles of, of Goshki there. Yeah. You've got light the, and the, dark, yeah. The light and the dark. So I'll definitely prefer the dark one, but I wouldn't say no uh, to the other one. I, some dark ones look look nice, and at the moment, the, if that stays the way it is, which is what I think it will do, you, you'll keep that darkness, but that distinct robin, which yeah, gives yeah. you the, 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 the five colours. Yeah. Can you see what I mean? Because yeah, Gosh, yeah. Goshki uh, means five yeah, colours. Yeah. So what you're in effect getting is you're getting the white, the red, the blue, the grey, and in some places, the way it turns, you get like a purple colour. Yeah, yeah. Can you see what I mean? Yeah, you can almost get that achieve a purple, don't you? Um, yeah. Purple. Now, me personally, I would have kept this one. Yeah. But Susan, Susan fell in love with the two-step. This one's going nowhere, folks, by the way. Yeah. It's going in my... I was about to claim that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, in a year or so's time, I'll give you first refusal probably, if I move it on. I'll probably have so many. I'll, I'll try and keep as many of the fry as I can because well, it's going to take me ages to grow them. Again, this is the lighter style. No, this no one of the... Uh, oh yeah, it's slightly different, isn't it? It's got a look at it. Orange or Sony back. Yeah. Rather than the white. It's going to be a lovely fish, don't get me wrong. Yeah. It's going to be a beautiful two-step. Just. They're still too young to, you know, you don't know oh, what they're gonna, the colours are going to be, yeah. What, yeah. what you've got to remember is these are, these have been out to the front pond for a, a month or so, so they've got a bit of colour then, but they will fade back until spring, and once the spring comes, they will then go out into the new tank, which is why I'm trying to get it done through the winter. Yeah, yeah. So then I'm not um, doing the building through the summer, so through the summer I can yeah, actually yeah. fucking enjoy my bond for once. once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, as you know, famous last words, yeah. you know, because I know for a fact that I'm always thinking of new things so I can do, I can change, you know, oh, it just goes on. Let's see if we can get that one for you. Yes. Now I will need the, the white net for this one. Because this one, I am almost positive, is Deutsch Magoi. Oh my goodness, look at this one. Possibly my favourite one of the day. It's just different, oh my goodness. You see it's got yeah, yeah. slight slight orange on the belly. Yeah. Only a little bit. Potentially turn into a shower at some point. No. No, that's that I'm no. almost positive that is uh, Deutsch Magoi. Deutsch Magoi. Whatever go, it is, yeah. it, it's gonna be. You go back through the koi yeah. genetic but, timeline as one of the first, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But even even so, it's got a beautiful body shape. And it is going to be a big fish. Oh yeah, definitely. No one's laid claim to that one yet. No. Yeah. Oh, he's giving me a hint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I claim that one. <laughs> Got to get first refusal on it. Won't be ready till spring. No, yeah, of course. And I, I, you'll probably find penny to a pound. When spring comes, it'll be at least double that size. 
I don't know if you know if my uh, time will be done by then. I've been digging for days. I can, I, can, not I, even... can, I can keep it here until you're ready. That's not a problem. This is like a Yamasaki. It's, it's, an, it's actually an Akamatsuba because it's completely, completely ready orange. As that gets bigger, that will turn red. Change. Yeah, that will turn red. It's got a beautiful robing across the top. I think, got, I think my one, I thought it was an Akamatsu, but it's more orange. I think it's a Kai Matsuba, is it? Uh, uh, it, it was it bought as an Asagi? Because it might oh, actually be... It a, was a Pond Rescue from oh, the neighbor. Right. See, I got clue. See, if you've got... You, you can have an Asagi that's got a hell of a lot of red on it, that's just a, a here saggy, yeah, yeah. but you've got to have that little bit of white in there somewhere that breaks it, you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like an Asagi does, yeah, but so. if it's totally encased in red like this one, mm. or this one will be, yeah. then it, you know, it's just, I mean, you you can see it, because you, you know, because you're experiencing that, right? the red, I can hardly see it, but you can slightly see it coming through. Yeah, but you once, once that goes yeah. out in the sun, once that goes out in the sun, yeah, it'll just pull it out. Won't it? it will start pulling it out. Um, I'm really pleased with the fry that I had from Adam. Actually, I've got a few crackers. I'll have to come back in the spring, won't I? Oh yeah. The oh yeah. But I, I, I don't care. Obviously, a paying customer. That's all you're doing there, because you um, and Vince is engineering. I like. thought it'd be good for me old man to yeah. have for his pond so he wouldn't have to keep cleaning out fucking sponges and stuff. Yeah, it's all about a tempest by the way. So, um, the, yes. old, the old man decided uh, he was going to buy it and tell, his, t tell me mum to give it to me instead of putting it on his pond. Uh, so, yeah, she's well, not complaining with, though. No, I'm not, I'm not, I never complain to a free gift, you know, yeah. you, know you don't. But the homemade easy pod. That's the homemade easy pod too. Uh, it's a... Uh, the base of it is an 80 litre black bin, mm. you know the plastic, uh, wrap, black round ones? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you've got a four inch tank connector on the bottom of this bin, Yeah. and you've got a four inch tank connector on the side of the bin with a 90, Solvent World 90 yeah. in between. Yeah, that gives you this bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then you put your slots in the top half of this bit, and you put your slot or your holes on the bottom half of this bit yeah so that's your out sorted the in is a three inch tank connector because i've got a three inch slide valve right behind it yeah but behind that is four inch pipe that comes all the way from the all skimmer right. yeah. that's out in the corner there yeah yeah so all, the way, all the way from this point all the way down you yeah, know and because because the tank connector is about that far off the yeah. bottom of the bin to go to the pump, yeah. it means that this is actually about this high away from the bottom of the actual bin itself, and that gap there yeah. is where I've got my in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so when yeah, the pipe comes in. comes in, it then swirls round the bin like it would on an yeah, easy. Yeah, like, like a vortex. Exactly, style, yeah. exactly like an easy pod yeah, would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It spins it round, yeah. but because you've got that gap between the bottom of the thing and the bin that I've made, yeah. then all your heavy stuff automatically settles on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Can you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's it, man, yeah. The only thing, and I'm still trying to work out how I want to, I want to change this, because mm. the only, it does clean, it cleans really well. All right, as yeah. you can see, there's no more shit flying about because it's all settled to the bottom. But when you look at an easy pod, Right, so this is this is an actual easy pod. For yeah. People that don't know, I'm sure you will do. But... You come in in, in your easy yeah, pod, gravity fed, three inch. Um, yeah. You can get UV in there as well, can't you? You um, can get them with the yeah, UV. Add in. Extra, like. Yeah. 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 I don't see the point of buying one in fucking ones that auto clean because. No. You know, oh god. If I boiled this for five minutes mm. and then dumped it, I know for a fact it wouldn't be clean. Yeah. Yeah, and that's it. That's with using it like it's supposed to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me dump this. Chuck the slide out. Okay. Right. 
handmade. Oh, I'm passing that too. You see what I've got in the bottom is an inch and a half tank connector yeah. right on the bottom. Yeah? yeah. And that goes, see where your foot is down there? Dumping fast. And that's an in yeah. inch and a half right on the bottom. Yeah. So everything on the bottom it goes down. It goes straight down right. and then I've got a sump. Got underneath here which yeah, then yeah. soaks away yeah yeah perfect yeah nice and easy that much and then as you now now it's uh, it's dropping down you can see yeah. see the tank connector and the yeah. 90 yeah yeah literally the 90 goes right up against the tank connector and then right up to the base of the, the I mean, tank it's connector it's easy for this. as deep as a sound easy but the depth of it is quite good as well but you see, see the gap that I've got yeah yeah I see it yeah perfect so and then it's literally put my standpipe back in. Standpipe yeah. is also the pond level. Yeah. Because of the holes. Yeah, 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 gotcha. Because yeah. Because that becomes my overflow. Yeah. So once the pond reaches that height. You can sort of, if you were to go straight across here, it's a perfect level there. That makes sense. So just if anyone's interested in understand how his system works, because um well I am anyway, because I like all this. <laughs> All right, so when it comes out through that tank connector down there, it goes straight to inch and a half, straight yeah. to the pump, yeah. and it goes through the UV and back through the settlement chamber. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm doing away with the settlement chamber next year, yeah. and I'm going to build two backy showers. Right, okay, yeah. So it will then go straight from the homemade right, yeah, easy pod, and it will go straight to the backy showers because I'm taking this UV out and this UV out and replacing it with them ones. Oh. They were given to me by. Uh, oh right, well, these things are absolute beasts, by the way. Yeah. Um, uh, not, at least a meter long, are they? Something yeah, like about that. that. Yeah. Yeah, they're the old you cockney, call, cockney yeah, coil ones. They're old, but they're, they're gold. Yeah. I know people have got these. Yeah, they? but it's going to work perfectly for me because in and out, so yeah. I can connect straight to the top of the yeah. the tempest, yeah. and it goes straight through the UV, and then back out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I put the the backy showers in. The main bottom drain will not run the backy showers. Yeah, yeah. The skimmer will. Okay, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, makes sense. And how are you going to clean the backy showers out when they're back there? <laughs> I won't need to. They won't need to. No. Not once I've made the. You could just have them as bio ones, don't know, once, once I've yeah, made yeah. the changes to yeah. this, because as you as you see, when you're running an easy pod, right. you got the way these face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're there because. Once this starts filling up with shit, yes, you it, it, it. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, a, it's a bypass it goes system. straight out, doesn't it? But it also works in reverse when you clean the motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. So I can take that out. Pull that up. And I fire the pump up. I let it, I, I know it runs dry for a second, yeah. but I do that so that when the pump kicks in full because it's a very flow. Yeah. It's only a cheap J-Bo one. Yeah. I haven't had any problems with J-Bo. No. Nah. I think they're all right. Not too many, I think so. Give it a shake. Levels the, uh, the K1 out. It's 10, so what are we running out on 10,000? That's that's, that's 10,000 litres an hour, yeah. Yeah. It's on, is it on maximum, is it? Yeah, that's on maximum. Yeah. That's yeah. using 79, 80 watts an hour. Yeah. Not, you can't. You can't go wrong. No, you can't. So now we've got. Now we've got the skimmer running. I can shut that one and that one. Turn that off. This got some serious. My dad built that. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's good. Very good. Looks safe. <laughs> above, above everything. <laughs> what gets me though? He built all this. He built all this. Yeah. Yeah. And what I didn't tell him is running on a 13 amp plug in the kitchen. Oh right. <laughs> I was going to say, looks like something out of a train station or something. Well, yeah, it's all, it's all wired in with proper yeah, but cable. But you both think it's low wattage, so On that it? end, though. You're not pulling 13 amps, are you? Yeah, I'm running yeah. Uh, a 13 amp so, plug. So now I've, turned, now I've turned that off. Give them a bit of a squeeze. Mm. Get the pipe ready. Shut the valve, and then what I do is I top it up. And what I'm doing at the moment is I'm topping this filter up, which then tops that filter up, and there's yeah. a reason for that. Is because mm -hmm. when I clean, I like to have my water level sitting about here, just underneath. See where that? Yeah, where the, where the lip is. Yeah. yeah. 
and there's a reason for that as well. Mm. And I want to try and replicate it on there, but I still haven't got it figured right in my head yet how it's going to be, how it's going to be done. Yeah. But now the water level's coming up. I shut that slide valve, which then isolates the bio chamber, which is just yeah. another 80 litre bin. Yeah. Static. No, K active. No, active is it? Yeah. Right. We've got K3 in there and all sorts of Oh, there's, there's all sorts there's in there. All right. Is it? So we shut, that's all shut up. I put my pipe in. I'll turn the air on. Okay. Now watch. Yeah, it looks like it's going to over, overflow. But, uh, this, 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 this was yeah. clean two days ago. Right. It's also fine. It's a lot of fines. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, on the usual clean, I'll walk away and I'll leave that a good half hour, mm. three quarters of an hour. Right, okay. You, you come back and you'll find there's a bit, a bit, bit of foam around the top, but you'll find 99% of the stuff has already settled out down, down around the bottom. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So that's where I dump it. And then you do that, you do that once or twice? I do that twice. And the twice. reason I do that twice is because I keep that one shut for the time being. Yeah. So then what I do... <clears throat> That's the waste valve, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Let's go into the sump below us yeah. as well. The phase will start to be floating soon. So it's dumping all that out. Like I say, this is still well, a quick version for the video, but it's usually half hour we boils that. An easy pod, I think, holds 80 litres. Yeah. So does that then. Yeah. Second hand on eBay, about 200 quid. Two fifty at the moment, at the moment uh, with ball valve, uh, with the, the slide valve and the tank connectors and, and the bin itself. And satisfaction. <laughs> self satisfaction. Self satisfaction. Yeah. Now, oh, when you look in there, you see you've got the usual case for the ship traps yeah. around the around that lip. Yeah. And this is one of the reasons why I like my bio isolated from my pod because. I pull that, which then back purges that pipe, which then flushes this shit yeah, exactly. over, over the lip. It gets out the rest of it, yeah. and out to waste. Yeah. 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 So that's that. Then you could do that multiple times, didn't you? Yeah. Just well, I, 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 as usually, I turn my tap on. Yeah. I then fire it round the outside, outside of that. I then shut my valve back up. Open the bottom drain. Right, because that's coming from a straight line, straight yeah. to a 90, straight up into there, right. filling that easy pod. That bottom drain is just literally lying inside, it's down there, isn't it? Yeah, so then that easy pod is now, has now purged my whole bottom drain line. Yeah. What's so, the of easy pods? Do you them? As a, as a, as a yeah. mechanical filter, yeah. as long as you look, yeah. run them right. Yeah. and. Uh, Luckily enough, the pump that I've got on there is actually it's a thousand eight hundred gallons an hour, not liters an hour, which yeah. equates to about eight thousand liters an hour. Yeah. But by the time it's pulled through there, through there, and gone up there, yeah. it slows. Can you yeah. see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the most I would recommend speed you would pull through an easy pod is eight thousand five hundred liters an hour. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the optimum. It's around 500, 500, 5,000, 5, 5,000 or 5,500 is the optimum. Yeah. I think that's why I get... In other words, if you've got a 20,000 litre pump, then it's like for you. Yeah, yeah. If you want to pump yeah. lots and lots yeah. of, uh, pull lots and lots of speed through it, then yeah. an easy pod's not the way. Yeah. I think that's why this one works so well on the growing on tank, yeah. because I'm only pushing 3,600 litres an hour yeah. through there. All you need for that, and that water, yeah. yeah. And at night, I valve that down. So you actually reduce the flow. Yeah. Yeah. Because at night, they do slow down. Yeah, yeah. 
But when I come, when I get up in the morning and I come down and I do my first... Zipping and popping. Yeah. <laughs> when, I, when I come down, I open the door, they are zipping and popping because they want feeding. And the first thing I do before I give them food is I open that valve, which then speeds things up again. Yeah, it sort of wakes them up, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, and you've got showers running constantly as well. And that's a, that's a 4,000 litres an hour pump running that. Yeah, that's down in the corner, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Just directly going straight up. Yeah. No spray bar. Yeah. <laughs> Mind your own business. Yeah, that will break really well once it goes back outside. Yeah, it's just not getting the sunlight, is it? Well, we ain't going to get much sunlight anyway now, no. yeah. But that's that bottom drain done. Yeah. So much, know, and that's only running a 40 litres a minute air pump. That air pump yeah. is almost 10 years old, 10, 11 years old. Yeah, I was going to say, it's huge. No, that's that's an old evolution act. Yeah, that's how big they were. Yeah, that's what I'm evolution saying, yeah. Aqua, they, yeah. they don't even make that one no more. Ah. It's ah. the ET40. Yeah. No. <laughs> ET. Mark, give me that from Cuttle Book. I've had that, like I say. And you, it, are you name dropping again? It, well, no, I'm not name dropping. <laughs> it's just he helped me a lot when I first started in the coin yeah. hobby. Look at the... So, you know. I've, I've got to give him credit for yeah. a lot of what I know. It's another link I've got to leave now. And I was, <laughs> I was, say, I was saying this to to Adam the other day, you know, and I learned a lot what from about Adam Byer, not me. I, I learned a lot from uh, Mark and Lisa at Cuttlebrook. Yeah. And then I then I took a hiatus because I uh, I come away from YouTube and I come away from forums and everything yeah, yeah. Uh, because of the way the community used to be. And it just it just didn't help my anxiety or my PTSD, so I put myself yeah. away. And yeah. since I've... I have i will not film your face. No, oh, you can film <laughs> my face. I, I've gone past fucking caring about that now, you know. <laughs> but, I, like I said to Adam the other day, I said, since I've been going up with Adam, I've learned so much more yeah. on top of what I already know. And it annoys me when you get a couple of YouTubers claim that they specialise in this. Now, I've been in this hobby... Does, one, does one look like this? <laughs> I've been in the hobby 18 years and I'm still learning. Yeah. yeah. There is still stuff that I don't know. There's been stuff that I've actually asked Adam yeah. if he will teach me. But that's another story. You know? But the secrets. I'm not a specialist. I know I, I can grow fish big. Mm. But I'm not a specialist. I don't specialise in koi. I enjoy keeping koi. I enjoy growing koi. But, you know, well, I, I don't know everything. I think I've, I've only been here an hour and I've learned. <laughs> we so haven't much. been out the front yet. Yeah, we haven't gone out the front yet. We, we haven't been out the Shall front Shall we go out the front? Yeah, we'll Check go out the front. Out. We right. can leave that, leave that topping up. Right, this is a no grow on pond. Done it all himself. Pretty handy, old Vince. And well, yeah, here's the window. I've, uh, Two pints of lager and a packet of crisps, please. <laughs> 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 it's awful, no drinking this house. I'll just out at the front now. Um, try and get to widescreen. He's done this all himself again. He's like I say, he's a wizard with his hands, definitely. <laughs> when I can use them. Yeah, when he can use them, yeah. <laughs> when, they're, when they're not. Uh, as long as it doesn't involve well, digging, hmm. I'm, you know, relatively all right nine times out of ten, which is why the pickle comes around and does all the digging for me. So this is, yeah, this is quality. Look, these are all Coca-Cola uh, lids. Well, oh, while I've got you, really quickly, I've got two questions for you. Not 10 and 10, all right? Why twisted? Why twisted? <laughs> that, is it, is, that, I mean, I'm, I'm getting it. Is it because you're no. a bit coy crazy? Or? Well, I, I am, yeah, I, I am twisted in that sense anyway. But it started off on the forums because mm. when I was first on the forums, I used to go under my alter ego on World of Warcraft at that point in uh, time, which was, my name was Twizzle, Twizzle. and it got abbreviated to Twiz. Right. And what I used to do on the forums, I used to write Twiz at the bottom of me comments and stuff, and I had a little devil emoji. Yeah, yeah. But to create the devil emoji, you had to put a double dot, right, twisted, and a double dot. Oh, I see the mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it then turned into Twisted Twiz. Yeah. And that's, that's Susan. <laughs> hey, pause. Number two, <laughs> Question number two. What's your favourite YouTube Koi channel? I haven't got one. <laughs> <laughs> For Lars, I thought you were going to say, that's Koi. 
Honestly, I'm I haven't devastated. got none. I, like, no. like, I showed you it's my... It's just on the spot. I was just trying my, to catch you out. My, my subscriber list is yeah. absolutely yeah. massive. Is you know, the channels yeah. that I well, watch. I've, I've actually gone through your list to find new channels that I've not seen. Well, that, so, yeah. that's, that's the way I started yeah. doing it. I found... I, I, some of these channels, you can't understand what the fuck they're saying, <laughs> but you can understand what they're trying yeah, to trying explain. Because yeah, yeah, you see that, what I mean? Yeah. It, if, You're talking about international channels here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Overseas channels. Overseas I say, channels. Yeah. I mean, I've got right. channels from Indonesia, India yeah. that I watch, and yeah. they've got some amazing fish. Yeah. And like I say, nine times out of ten, can't understand the fucking word they're saying. Yeah. But, but you can it's get like a, a pop-up book, isn't it? You can just yeah. look well, at the pictures. You when you go down the comments because I'm I love reading the comments as well to to, to videos. Yeah, yeah. And you can translate them. Yeah, so yeah. when you translate some of these like, some of these comments, you can actually work out what they're trying to get you at. You can even reply back in their yeah. own language. You just use well, yeah. Google Translate, can't I you? Just, I just type in in English, you know, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. get replies, yeah. and I get yeah. likes and stuff. Fuck me, I've even had down, loads of down thumbs. It doesn't bother me, yeah. you know. You All I worry about is me putting my videos out to the way I like them. I'm happy. So but this yeah yeah this I'm, is i'm really proud proud of this yeah this is i really like this you've got to see this in the flesh really um because now i was saying to you originally i had a pond out mm, here yeah well it actually ended here it was that it's big. wider it yeah. was that big yeah and that's one of the reasons why i didn't make this any deeper because i know what's buried underneath it what the <laughs> wife <Yeah. laughs> no, well. uh, <laughs> My pond walls are made out of, you know the stuff they make industrial buildings out of? You've got a metal sheet that's corrugated, yeah. you've got insulation inside it, and then you've got another metal sheet, and yeah, they yeah, yeah. link together. Oh, right, yeah. They were given to me years ago by Mark from Cuttlebrook, and that's what mm. my pond walls are made out of. Bloody All yeah. the way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's solid then? Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely solid. Have you got the got the covers off at the moment? Yeah, I've got, like got, well. got the covers like off. A cool, so when they're on, it's like a cool little dome. Um, but it's the, the one thing that gets people with this one is the fact that there's no water pump in it because it's, it's a venturi system isn't it it's, it's airlift system yeah that's amazing yeah yeah so it's almost like a siphon system isn't it well you've got yeah. this side runs yeah. see the pipe sticking out yeah that is actually flush with the bottom of that that yeah, filter that bay. Bog, it's like a bog filter isn't it yeah yeah uh I got a low, I got real big flint and stone at the bottom, and then on top of this one, I've now got alpha grog, and I will yeah. be doing the same on that side. I'll be taking the flint out and replacing it with alpha grog. But it goes in through there. Yeah. Goes, you've got a, a tube that goes all along the bottom with some big holes in it. It comes up through, comes down into here, and then you've got an air chamber on the bottom of that pipe there, and then it, the air coming up brings the water up and pushes it back out which yeah. then gives you your, your return and yeah. then if you look just below the water line over there you see a four inch tank connector with some grilling on it yeah got a little polarized yeah 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 well that one goes it takes more of the surface water yeah and that goes in and goes down straight to the bottom again and then yeah. rises up and comes through this one this one's actually run with an air stone it doesn't run as fast as the chamber that I made. So that's coming off of this. And that's coming yeah. off of that. And that's only a, yeah. that's only a 40 litres a minute air pump or whatever it is. Yeah. It's all it needs, is not it? But I do want to get a bigger one on there. Yeah. I do I do want to create a bit of flow. And then once I've finished the mystery feature, there will be a small water pump in there yeah. as well. So that's only, what is it, cut the feet deep, is it? Well. Looks can be deceiving. Yeah. A grown man's arm deep, go. <laughs> but it's about that much deeper down at the bottom down corner. Down at the back corner. Yeah, it, it's, it's yeah like, it slopes back. Yeah, yeah it slopes sure. backwards to the, to yeah. the corner. Perfect. But that's well, so the, the only changes I want to make to this is to get the the mystery feature finished and get the alpha grub put in the top of there and then yeah. I'm chuffed the bits. This this has worked exactly the way is I that the mystery feature over that there is the mystery feature that's over the mystery there. feature over there yeah which i thought was something to do with his warhammer 
stuff. Um, no, like, no, no, like, no, 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 no. It no, would no, be no. pretty cool for Warhammer. <laughs> I used to collect Warhammer when I was younger. <laughs> Um, so these lilies, are they just trying to keep them alive? Are they or are they just dumping now, them? Now, now the, the, uh, the, the leaves themselves have started dying off. I will cut them back and then yeah. that will be taken out of there because I want to split it. That was the lily that was in Barry's pond. Oh, I got it, yeah. So this is part of the changes that are going to be happening in the front pond where I put the, shower, uh, the showers yeah. and moving the lilies over to that wall. Yeah. Because the water blade will be coming out and the settlement chamber will be coming out. So yeah. I'm either thinking I build a tray with one spillway and yeah. put lilies either side, or do two spillways with the lilies in the middle on a new hanger. Oh yeah, <laughs> how are you doing? I won't film you. Let's pull. It's going up to Vince's attic. <laughs> <This> <laughs> Oh my god. On a deck. For... I'm liable for falling over, as you noticed recently. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm up. Mm -hmm. Just show me his Warhammer stuff. The, the, these are on eBay at the moment. God, detail on them. This is the sort of thing I do. This is his other hobby. When I'm bored, or I can't do any. Uh, anything really you manual just, because of my hands. No, I, I go, I'll show you, and I. <laughs> I was got even more. Oh, that's quality. I used to make these when I was younger as well, but nowhere near as good as this. Alright, and then when you come round, we've got all my fishing tackle. Guess this is our man cave in and out. That's, that's, that's all the fishing rods. The, fishing the rods. two cupboards is the fishing tackle. That's yeah. all my bags and stuff, seats and stuff. Lovely coy picture up there. This is the army days. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's, that's Northern Ireland. That's, that's Northern Ireland. No, that's that's when I uh, that one there, the the one you was first looking at. Yeah. That was when I passed out junior leaders just before I went to my regiment. Wow. Oh. And these two, uh, 1991. Is Northern it, is Ireland. Is that a Vauxhall Nova in the back there? <laughs> no, it's a Vauxhall Cavalier. Oh, Cavalier. Eh? Yeah. That is the uh, North South border. Yeah. Well, that was bad times back then, believe yeah. me, my, my family's all Irish. Um, and, well, they live in Tipperary. Um, oh my god. And then he is literally. Right, I just need to jump over this with the camera. Without decking. Oh, right, this is the. Uh, this is quality. <laughs> Look this, at is, this. this is where what? I do my, my scenery. Some serious setup going on here. My airbrushing area, or if I'm spray canning yeah. or anything. Got the old extractor fan, so you don't die from the fumes. Extractor fan goes straight out through the chimney. Straight through, the, oh, got it all sussed in like that. Go straight yeah, out. Yeah. Cupboards with all my bits in, got cables, got so pipes, scenery. pipes and stuff. But this is the Necromunda board I've been doing. Yeah. I think, I think Lee Ab fills into his wall and stuff as well. He, he? He, I think he does commission painting. Yeah. But yeah, this this one. I, I always allow it when I was younger. I just pick it up and put it down whenever I feel a bit. Yeah. So this will go on eBay, I'm guessing, at yes. some point. Yes. At some point, once once I finally <laughs> finish it, but it's a it's a two foot square, or just slightly short of two foot oh. square. If you wonder why I'm rough here, because uh. Because he's had so many people come round, I wanted to do something different, so I've done access all areas. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you Close the toilet and everything. But yeah, this is uh, when I'm not able to do anything because of my hands and stuff, I will just sit up here and start putting bits together. Start using his hands again. Yeah. Well, no, but work. it's not. Yeah, it's not, it's not it's, stressful work. It's yeah. gluing. It's delicate. Yeah, yeah. It's just holding yeah. stuff with glue and, and whatnot. Oh, God, I remember. I remember being when I used to paint on these. These used to cost a fortune. All these different paints. Like you haven't right. seen my. You haven't seen my other area I yet. Haven't seen, I haven't seen another area. <laughs> no, it's just yeah, that's some boxes of, of figures that I've still got to paint. I used to collect the space wolves, space and, the, wolves. and the imperial guards. I've never played that's the game, idea. but yeah, I won a competition was, with that one. Well, detail on that. Seriously. So did you, so did you go into that um, Golden Demon Awards or anything? Or? No, no. But, well, I can even tell us, is that Skaven? No. No, it looked like a rat. 
That's, I remember uh, that's Belith chaos, isn't it? That's no, that's Adeptus Mechanicus. That's Belitharius. Oh, I know that. It's <laughs> been a while. Then you got your uh, there's Imperial Guards. I was, I was yeah, that's old school Imperial yeah. Guard. That one. Yeah. Do you remember the Catachan Jungle Fighters? Yeah. What they're called. <laughs> this, this one's Memory almost, line, this is... almost finished. Wow. I could never paint like that, ever. Mine was rubbish. <laughs> it's got sausage fingers on. <laughs> yeah, I get sausage fingers and I can't put them, I can't pick a, pe pick a paintbrush up. There's one of those blood angels up there and stuff for that. No. That's an old school original <laughs> yeah. mini. Yeah, because don't, you don't see them with a spiky. No, it's Spot. metal. Yeah. It's old school. Yeah, I mean the, the Space Marine helmet. Yeah. They, you know, it's quite oh, rare to see the... To, uh, see the, beaky, yeah, yeah, the, the beaky ones, yeah. Mm. Yeah, proper old school, that one. It's like the Imperial Guard. They're all... Uh, they're now. Yeah. I also love them ones. They were weak, though, weren't they? They're so not anymore from what I can, what I can make. Them. Did say access all areas. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah, lovely room here. This is... This is where I do my, uh, that's all Susan stuff though. That's my yeah, book collection. That's all Susan stuff. That's my 2000 AD book. I've got to be on a bigger shelf. There's all the ones that sat on top. Yeah, yeah. are supposed to be uh, complete in the picture. There's all the sealed <laughs> ones up there. All they've done yeah. ones, are they? No, they that's what I say. I've run out of room. So I've got to build a bigger shelf somewhere so I can put them all. Yeah. So don't tell me you ain't got time to do things because, I mean, this he's constantly on the go and he's got time to do this. Look at them paints. I'm doing this one for me, boy. Nice. And then... And this is just your station, the lights and that. This one, believe it or not, isn't actually a Games Workshop miniature. Okay. The Pickle printed this. Oh, 3D, 3D printer. printer. Wow. Uh, the head didn't come out, so I've used the Space Wolf's head. Yeah. But... That's that's, that's actually a 3D printed mini. Start selling this stuff. <laughs> well, that's a 3D printed by Pickle. Yeah. And so is my orc bus that I'm doing. Nice. And he also uh, done this one for me, boy. It's a manga type one that. He wants me to paint for him. It goes in there, that's it. Goes in there. And then that stands on there like that. Nice. So that's that's pretty printed as well, yeah, is it? Yeah. yeah. So if you ever want anything 3D printed, yeah. I know a man. He's the man. I know a man. He knows a man. I know a man. Pickles wicked with the print. Before I go, it's got quick I've been looking at the main pond all day, but um you guys might not seen it, so yeah. Um, you know the gosh cube we were talking about yeah. that I picked. That's the other two. Yeah. There was five in total. That's the other two. That one's just going to come out as some kind of Matsuba. That one could have done with a bit more red in it to balance it out. You see this one down here? Yeah. And there oh, was the lens. there was a Tancho Goshki, which is mm. in Katrina Hodgson's pond. Perfect. That Tancho is wonderful, by the way. Yeah, I know, I could That's have sold that a million times over. Yeah. That that, and my Kiatsuri. Mm. Now, it's not the biggest in the pond, but to me, yeah. that is the best in the pond at the moment. Yeah, exactly. To be able to get a Kiatsuri with a really nice Shiro pattern on it mm. that doesn't look like a rotten banana. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a bruised banana, what's it called? <laughs> well, some... It happens to Kiatsuri as well, and they end up becoming a rotten tomato. And what happens is, in between your Suri patterning, you end up with little black freckles. Yeah. And yeah, it ends yeah. up looking like a rotten banana or a rotten yeah, tomato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's been left out in the sun. Yeah. Um, and the check, I mean, these... So how big these, these chairs? They've got to be 50 cm, are they? Uh, I did the measure I did the see day. the measurement. I just... uh, she's hitting 50... All written down in a in a book. Mm. What I like to see. Patches is Fair fifty. Up. So yeah. patches is the Ginrin. The Ginrin one. Which That's is the one that Chris Carey that wants wants off there. me. That's Chris little, from Carey's Koi. Little black. The little black flex. Yeah. That was when we had to do the emergency rebuild. Mm -hmm. uh, what happened is that I 
the 90, bottom drain, 90, went at the bottom and all the yeah. pond water went. By oh, the time right, I yeah, managed yeah. to get one of them screwing bun things yeah. into the bottom drain, I was sat on my ass and the water was sitting about here. And at the yeah. time, I had my best mate's fish in the pond as well. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So there was like treble the amount of fish, mm. to, and they weren't fucking happy, put it that way. Yeah, so it's just... just so, so it's, a couple of days after the, they come back, she decided that she was going to go for a trip and went, ended up down behind the pond at the oh, back. Oh, well, that's so damaged. The, the, yeah. only, the only way I could get to her was hooking the tips of my fingers underneath her gill plate yeah. to pull her out. Oh, right. And oh, she damaged God. all the, from behind her head, the all across well. the top of the shoulders mm. and down by the tail. Now, when it first happened, I spent the next couple of months making sure that the scale pockets were kept clean. Mm. And that's why the black's disappearing and the scales are coming back. Yeah, it's... But she it looks like it's meant to be that colour as well. It's weird, isn't it? She come from New Forest Koi. Yeah. I actually, you know, I was telling you about yeah, the yeah. pick and mix. Yeah. I paid one pound fifty for her. How big was that? That. that. Two, so that. Three to four she's, centimetres, you know. That's absolutely huge now. Um, I think they need feeding, don't they? They're always unbeaten. Yeah. What I love about this pond is that all the different varieties. You know, it's got. A, it seems to have one. You know, one of each, if you like. I don't um, usually like feeding this crap, but I'm waiting for Itakazuma to come. There we go, food in. Are they interested? Yeah, straight over, Tancho is straight over. But they, they, they seem to like the food chucked in underneath the blade for some yeah. reason because it it's multiple levels of it water, keeps yeah. it yeah it moving and but it yeah they keeps it moist and all isn't it they they love it yeah look at that for a sight let's sit in there reading the book looking out you, you can't ask them already that's that's why that's my seat yeah <laughs> i sit there i was susan, gonna sit in that seat but i thought better not no you, you <laughs> but i sit there susan sits at the back of the wall so she can see straight through and in yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Just to invest in a camera. But I was just talking about um, maybe investing in a better camera because to have this in 4K, I'd, I'd have it as a screensaver on a computer. Hang on, what, what, uh, what temperature are we at today? This is 11 degrees. 11 degrees. And so still, we've gone up a degree since they're yesterday. They've slowed down, you can see them, but they're nice and calm. They're still eating. Yeah, well, they're, they're still eating. I mean, this mm. is the second, second feed they've had today. They won't have no more today. They will probably get a, a gem lettuce in a couple of days. They love them. <laughs> gem lettuce, mm. peas, sweet corn, mm. cooked rice. Another one, is, especially for the winter, you know you can get like a, a pulses mix where you've got split peas, pearl barley, yeah, like and all sorts of that. Yeah, yeah. Boil it up. Boil it up. Let it go cold. So chuck it in. do that Marrick's pond. I think chuck it, it in. That, it was one, uh, rest this soul. Now mm. this is a name drop. And that's Peter Waddington, bless his soul. R.I.P. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, Peter yeah, left, know, yeah. left left us a while back, but Peter used to feed his koi mm. in the winter, but he'd put a mix of rice, split peas, yeah. pearl barley, and uh, your pulses mix. Mm. And then what he would do, he would chop up a bit of tuna, yeah. mix it up with it, and he'd feed them that over the winter. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. that was where where I got the, the, the variety, I mean, they're, they're omnivores, they'll eat anything. Yeah, yeah. But if you want them to have their potential, then it's not just the water. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. what you give them as well. Yeah, which yeah, is course, why yeah. I, I, I like to give them a varied diet, which is why I like the variation of foods that I get from Takazumi. Yeah. Because you've got your growth, you've got your color, you've got your, yeah. you know, it, it goes right through the scales and they are doing mixes. So the, the winter mix that I use, it, it, it's got 30 percent sinking food which is their their wheat germ and the 70 percent floating is their color food gotcha so yeah, they're yeah, still yeah. getting color pellet as well as getting a mixed diet yeah, they? yeah yeah um i mean it's us that train them to come to the surface because they're predominantly yeah. a bottom feeding fish yeah. you can say the water color is really well really good 
you can see to the bottom. I mean, there's some bits on the bottom, like any pond, but. It's the boy jacket, that's super. Just, mm. just underneath the yeah, water blades, it, yeah? Yeah, 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 that's it, yeah. See, that looks like an echo, that super to me. But you can see what I was saying now with the one that was in there. See how it's fade, the orange has faded yeah, back. Yeah. That's purely because it's yeah. under artificial light. Once it gets into the main pond or into the, the tank, once it's done, yeah. then yeah, those colours will start coming out. And the colours don't really start thickening up until the temperatures drop. Because in the summer, what you've got to think of is in the summer they're eating a lot, they're growing, so they're stretching their pigments. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So from Educated again here. October to November, <laughs> yeah. pretty much all they've got on their mind is food, food, yeah, food, yeah. food, food, yeah, food. Yeah. And they want that food, one, to help them get through the cold snap that they know is coming. Yeah. And two, it helps knit the colours back together. So where those colours have stretched mm. over the winter, they will then thicken up. One reason why the why, why do you think most of the Japanese koi shows are in sort of like January, February? Yeah, it's when they're biggest. It's not that, it's when they're at the their best. best. Colors. Because yeah, yeah, I gotcha. this, it, it only went up to 22 degrees this year. Mm. Last year it went up to 26. And yeah. um, the blacks on my shiros and my showers faded right back to a, a, a grey, yeah. a pale grey. Yeah. But then, as soon as them temperatures start to drop, it's like lumpy, the, the black coming out on him now. Mm. And that's because the body is now settling itself back down. And then it fills in yeah. the colours that have been stretched as they've been growing. Uh, right, last thing. Uh, not fucking these. vandal. Vandals. Ah. Got to be done. Yeah. And he's got another one to uh, put somewhere else. I got one to put on my dinner tray that I, I collect stickers on it. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. I run out. So we will catch you all on the next on one. The next one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got to leave unfortunately, but it's been a cracking day. Yeah, um, could have stayed been, for longer. Yeah, but well, I've got to get back because I've got to take someone somewhere. Um, fucking him, he's not driving much. yet. God, you're on... Look, oh, fuck I'm going that. bold. No. Hence the cat. Right, um, yeah. <laughs> so, thanks to Vince and Sue, and I'll... Um, Anytime, mate. Catch I'll you on back. the next one. See you later.